Although many recovery groups, that safe space became a refuge that a lot of has had nowhere else in our lives. We built friendships in that room. I met my future wife in that room. And when I finally made a decision to quit, I had people I could call from that room. Okay, I was lucky. But maybe, just maybe, there was also some part of me that knew deep down that there was something I needed to hear in those meetings. Fast forward a few years. In 2013, bombs went off at the finish line of the Boston Marathon, killing three people and wounding months. Dash, threads, as the cops frantically chased the bombers through the cities of Boston, Cambridge, Watertown and Somerville, folks were locked down and sold to shelter in place. But in Somerville, where I was living, liquor, stores were still open. Because this is math we're talking about here. I spent that weekday drinking with my wife out of town and unable to come home. That was the beginning of the end for me. I probably didn't have another sober day in the next six months. The blackouts got longer. I started hiding.